why are we trying to set up colonies on Mars? Why not the moon, which is much closer, as you say? Or is terraforming the moon more difficult than Mars? Well, that's a very good question. I th- I'm sure lots of people have this question because the moon is right next door. We can go there in like a couple of days, less than a week's time. We can reach there with the current technology that we have. Uh, so, yeah, good question. Why don't we terraform the moon? The thing is this. Uh, when you are talking about moving to a different location, to a different planet, you want it to be as close to the Earth, not as close, but as much Earth-like as possible. So you want it to be similar in size. You want it to have a similar kind of atmosphere to start off with. So before you terraform a planet, you look at a number of candidates and you take the one that is the closest in, in, in its nature and appearance to the earth so it should be similar sized and all that so the closest candidate we have is mars actually venus is almost the same size as the earth right but its atmosphere is is an absolute hell it's about 300 times uh, larger greater than the earth the atmospheric pressure is i think 300 times or so greater than what we have on the earth and the atmospheric composition is absolute hell you have uh, sulfur dioxide sulfuric acid rain and uh, <laughs> and lightning and thunder and all that right so it's a terrible place to even think of settling in and it's almost impossible to terraform mars on the other hand even though it's smaller than our planet has certain conditions that are similar to that of earth for example it, its day is about 24 hours long it did have running water, liquid water in the past. It may even have had life in the past. And it's uh, the temperature is low, of course, but those things can be changed. The moon, on the other hand, doesn't have an atmosphere at all. Its gravity is about one-sixth of that of the Earth. So if you weigh 100 kilos on Earth, you would weigh one-sixth of that on the moon. And that is not a good, uh, it's not conducive to human health, you know. We need gravity to, in order to remain healthy. People who go out in space and spend a year in orbit, they essentially become extremely weak. Their bones become more brittle. Uh, and there are effects on the cardiovascular system and all that, which are... which. So basically, lower gravity is not good for human health. And therefore, Mars is a much better candidate from that perspective than the Moon, because its gravity is about 38% of that of the Earth. And it already has an atmosphere which we can augment, hopefully. The moon doesn't have an atmosphere. It does have a very tenuous, wispy, quasi-atmosphere, which is basically almost the same as vacuum. So that uh, these are the reasons why uh, Mars is a better candidate. Even the soil of the moon is is not... Uh, it's, it's quite... I don't think it's very conducive to growing plants and all that. So the main reason is the moon is too small, its gravity is too weak. Secondly, it doesn't have an atmosphere. It is almost impossible. It it is completely impossible to give it an an artificial atmosphere because its gravity gravity is so weak that even if you give it an artificial atmosphere, the atmosphere will slowly leak away in in a reasonably short period of time. So it has to be a massive planet, more massive than the moon. And these are the reasons why Mars is a much better candidate for terraforming and for long-term future human habitation than the moon, even though the moon is so close by. So these are the reasons why we prefer, why everyone prefers Mars as opposed to the moon. 